a YouTube jack of all trades. Today we're going to uh, continue our discussion here on repeaters. And um, if you haven't seen the first video for um, repeater operation, basic repeater operation, I'll throw a link up right here, and you can uh, you can check that out. And then uh, come back here, or we'll uh, continue the discussion if you haven't seen what we started talking about. But <clears throat> When we left off, before we left off with um, basics of repeater operation, we're going to get a little more advanced here, and we're going to talk about tone, and we're going to talk about link repeater systems. Well, what is a tone? Well, a tone is the key to the gateway here to get in, into the repeater system. So, <clears throat> to keep the repeaters from accidentally broadcasting when the sun does something goofy, or there's some kind of interference in the area, or something um, accidentally broadcast near the repeater that could cause the repeater to open up we use what's called tone and um, there's a lot of different tone frequencies and it's a hidden kind of a hidden frequency that your radio is transmitting with your signal when you talk so when you key your mic down your uh, radio is transmitting your voice and an underlying signal in there is also the tone that the repeater hears it's listening for whatever the predetermined tone is for the repeater to turn on and say, oh, there's somebody here and <clears throat> they want to talk. So the, the tone will turn on the, radio, or the repeater and the repeater will then begin to rebroadcast what it's hearing. And it will rebroadcast anything that it's hearing. So <clears throat> if the tone is correct, it opens up, away we go. So that's one thing you're going to have to learn how to set in your radios besides your split to actually hear and talk to the repeater, you're actually going to have to turn the repeater on or open it up. And that's done through tone. So that's something you're going to have to remember with basic repeater operation. But <clears throat> I also want to talk a little bit more about link systems with repeaters. And what are they? Well, <clears throat> now let's talk about a much larger city here than what my chicken scratching shows. And let's say these two want to talk to each other. Again, they can't do it through the buildings, through the obstructions, it's just too far. These small radios have a very limited range. But, with the aid of the repeater, remember before, they were able to talk to each other. But now let's say they are all the way across town, or they're actually in two different cities. They're nearby cities, but they're, they're you know way too far away for the basic repeater to get the transmission completed. That's when we come into link repeater systems. And there's some pretty impressive link repeater systems out there that uh, can take you across several states. When you key up, <clears throat> you actually turn on with your tone the first repeater. When that one broadcasts, it broadcasts out. And the next repeater hears it, and now it turns on. And that will turn on the next repeater and the next repeater if that's how the system is set up. But some are just <clears throat> like a dual setup or triple whatever, however many it may be you know, 20, 30 repeaters, it, <clears throat> the number is whatever the system is that they've put together and they've activated, you know, and they can cover hundreds or thousands of miles. But the, uh, the idea is still the same. The operation seems to be, when you use the radio, the, the person still sounds like it's the same guy talking to you across town, the same repeater, but um, there's a slight delay for all the repeaters to turn on. But that gets, that's a link system in kind of a nutshell there where it kind of uh, gives you the ability to talk to somebody at a much greater distance away and um, still utilize your small radio, handheld radio or mobile radio in your car, but now talk to somebody that could be a thousand miles away. Um, and it's done through multiple repeaters in a link repeater system. So, in a quick nutshell, that is your uh, basic link system, your basic tone operation, a little more advanced stuff onto the repeater operation that a technician is going to come in to ham radio and see is uh, a couple of simple things that you're going to have a lot of fun with. Hey guys, if you remember to uh, give me a thumbs up down there if you like this info and uh, share with your buddies and uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thanks, Jack of all trades.